USFL Extra Point, special XFL edition, I guess we'll call it. Uh, Today, as I'm recording this, they just officially unveiled the eight uh, teams, cities, nicknames, and logos. Worst kept secret, it's been out for a couple of weeks now. Um, But um, I'll go over them quickly with you. Uh, they, they're using Arlington as their hub for like practices, but apparently, from what I read, they're going to have the teams are going to play home and away, but they're all going to have this hub at Choctaw Stadium in Arlington, Texas. All right, well, I'll preface it with this. You guys know I have said, and I said, I hope I'm fucking wrong, that this version of the XFL will not get off the ground. It's scheduled for a February 18th kickoff. And they already floated only, I think it was in September or so. They're looking for uh, 45% um, investors. That's a fucking huge red flag uh, to me. Um, uh, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, and his ex-wife and uh, current business partner, Danny Garcia. Uh, you know, him and her have, you know, I, I don't want to be redundant. You can go look at the other articles and videos I've posted over the years with with the two of them, with the um, Olympia on uh, on fucking network TV, 2017, that was supposed to be, it never happened. Uh, the Rock Games, Athleticon, two years went by, one year COVID excuse, the next year, and then they just, they just, they don't update it, they just let it die. Like, you know, you just don't feed it and let it die. Maybe people forget about it. Now, now they bought the XFL um uh, from uh, the company McMahon opened to, to run this thing away from the WWE. And they, uh, uh, that was in 21, because the XFL had to fold in 20 after COVID affected it. And they sat on it for a couple of years. They did some things, but to me, it was like, all right, what's going on? And then the whole CFL, whatever was going to go on over there, everybody's been hush hush. Obviously, there's. Uh, you know, an agreement not to talk shit about each other. So you got the Arlington Renegades. Some of these names are going to sound familiar to you, and it's cool because I actually like some of this. It looks like they're using the, uh, they not going back to the original XFL. They're doing the 2020 version with a few caveats in here. Uh, the DC Defenders, Washington DC Defenders, the Houston Roughnecks, the Orlando Guardians. It was the New York Guardians, which was really New Jersey. Uh, in 20, San Antonio Brahmas. Now, this is like the Brahma Bull. Remember, the Rock had the tattoo, and he was the Brahma Bull, was his nickname. Seattle Sea Dragons. That's a fucking cool name. St. Louis Battlehawks, uh, Vegas Vipers. I know St. Louis is pretty excited about that. They have uh, a good a good following there, especially after losing the fucking uh, uh, two NFL teams over the years, the Cardinals and the Rams over the years. So. Uh, the logos, I, I do think they're good. The Guardians, is, it looks like they're using the same logo that the New York Guardians use. There's a green outline on it, though, which wasn't there uh, the first time with the, when it was up in Giant Stadium. Um, uh, so it's it's some of these logos will look familiar to you. The Houston Rough next one's cool because it's it's like the almost it's a, kind of a, a cartoon version of the Oilers one. So. That's uh, the story with the with the, the unveiling today officially. Um, like I said, I don't want to be right. I want to watch the XFL. You know, I'm not. I don't know if I'm gonna fucking travel to go see one game. I ran down to the uh, USFL because it was four games in the one hub in, in Alabama. But um, I gotta I gotta play it by ear. You know, see maybe there's something uh, with the DC. I'm trying to find you know maybe something close that I can fucking take a ride to, uh, and not uh, and not uh, break the bank to watch a game, uh, to cover a game. I will not fucking pay a ticket to go to cover a game. Um, so that's the story. Let's see. I, I do not wish them any bad luck, uh, but I will say I told you so. <laughs> it's human fucking nature, but um, we're not just fucking bodybuilding and fitness and lifestyle. We're fucking sports, straight up fucking sports. I'm a sports writer by trade. I never forgot where I came from, and I fucking love this fucking stuff. So obviously, you can see the current issue has the USFL on the cover. I'm gonna be doing coverage of the XFL. I like I said, I hope it does start when it's scheduled to start, and and they can complete the season like the USFL did. Um, 
Uh, go to musclesportmag.com slash store, 32 bucks a year. Free shipping in the United States. And you can get this shirt. This is the summer 2017 cover, Iron Maiden tribute, a big, giant, juiced up Eddie destroying a city. If you buy both, I will throw in a free back issue. So go to musclesportmag.com slash store, place your order, and we'll see you next time on USFL Extra Point.